Hello, this is Dave McCrory, and I'm going to show you a multi-cloud deployment. So a little bit of background first on what's happening. I have a micro Cloud Foundry instance set up here. You'll see the identities demo.cloudfoundry.me. I also have the Spring STS IDE running here with a micro Cloud Foundry um, connection to my micro Cloud set up here, as well as a Cloud Foundry instance uh, or a connection that I have set up here under servers. The app I'm going to deploy is located at github.com slash trisberg slash visitors. Uh, so I'm already at that site. I can copy this and I will go to STS and import it. So to do that we go to import, we select projects from git, we select clone. You'll notice that it already grabbed from the clipboard the correct information and we're going to clone it and we're going to keep the local destination and we will pick finish and now we will go close that we'll go back to import select get again and you'll see now that we have our visitors app showing up here so we're going to select that we're just going to import it we're going to select finish so now we have our app. You'll notice that we have this, uh, this exclamation here. What we need to do now is right click or option click and enable dependency management with Maven. And you'll see in just a second it's now enabling and it's updating and resolving the dependencies for us. You'll see that our red exclamation point is gone and now we can simply drag and drop visitors down to the micro Cloud Foundry instance here and you'll see that it's already selected spring. We're not going to start the application yet. We're going to select finish. So the reason we did that is if we look inside now it's deployed and if we double click uh, you'll see that we don't have a service and if we go down in the instructions you'll see that we need this uh, Mongo visitor service which is a MongoDB instance. So we're going to go ahead and add that right now. So Mongo dash visitors and We're going to add it as MongoDB, and created the service. We select visitors, and then we drag and drop the service that it depends on, and now we're going to start. So in a moment, we will have our running instance locally, and we've already prepped the package, done the resolution on our micro cloud, and we should be able to click here and there's our application running. So now we've resolved the dependencies checked out and made sure everything works now we'd like to go ahead and deploy an instance to cloudfoundry.com so all we have to do is drag and drop to cloudfoundry.com select next we do not want to start the application, same as before, because it has a dependency on that uh, Mongo service. We're going to click here. Here's our visitors app. We'll double click once again. And we're going to add our Mongo dash visitors along with selecting Mongo. And now we have a Mongo visitors here. We will drag and drop. So here's our visitors and you'll see it's moving and there's our Mongo instance. We're going to start the application now. In just a few seconds we will have uh, our visitors app deployed on the VMware Cloud Foundry site. And If we click here's our new instance deployed to Cloud Foundry. Now what would be really interesting is if we had some non-VMware based clouds that we could deploy to as well. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to deploy several additional clouds that we're going to deploy our app to without changing any code. So the first thing we're going to do is add these clouds. So to do that we'll go here, we'll right click, select server, and we're going to change the name to AppFog. 
we are then going to change the actual cloud. Uh, we need to add a new cloud. So we're going to add, and the name is AppFog, and the URL. So now we have an AppFog based connection. We're going to add our account. And we're going to select the correct URL, which is AppFog. We're going to validate the account. Select Finish. Now we're going to go over to the Tier 3 cloud. We're going to add that. So this will be called Tier 3. manage we're going to add tier 3 select it in the drop down put in our account credentials validate the account going to add in Stratus. Do the same thing. So new server, server name, and Stratus. Email. And add the cloud itself. Validate the account, finish, and now we have three new clouds that we can deploy to. So we will drag and drop to AppFog, again not starting the app but deploying it. So you can watch the status of that, you'll see it's deployed. I'm going to then do the same thing to the Instratus cloud, same steps. And finally, we're going to do that same thing to the Tier 3 cloud. OK, so we have our three deployments. Now we need to open them up and add our service. So on AppFog we'll add our Mongo visitors. Make sure it's selected. Drag and drop. Start our app. And we're going to jump to the Instratus version. Create our service. Do the same thing, drag and drop. Tell it to start. And then we'll go to the Tier 3 cloud. And once again, follow the same set of steps. And do our drag and drop. So now back to AppFog, we can click on the link, and there we go, there's our running AppFog instance. And let's do the Instratus instance now. 
There's our Instratus instance running now. And let's go ahead and do the tier three instance. And there we go. We now have five deployments of our app. This shows how easy it is to deploy an app across multiple clouds with virtually no additional effort, simple drag and drop, no code changes, very, very easy to do. And if we go back over here, we can do our refresh here. And now, just for fun, what we can do is on our micro cloud, we can add the clouds extension to the app. And you'll see that we have a visitor count for all clouds. So now I'm going to take the cloudfoundry.com site and add the link. You'll see we have three hits to that site. We'll add the app fog. The tier three we'll add to our micro cloud instance. And we'll add the Instratus instance as well. And now, if we hit any of these and refresh, so we'll hit this a few times, you'll see it's appending, and then we'll add a couple of these, maybe one more here, we'll do several on Instratus, like so, and then we'll go back and we'll refresh this and you'll see that it actually went to all the different clouds, tallied up all the information, and gave us a total of 18 visits across. So we now have the ability to connect to all of these different clouds, interact with them, have uh, hits, all with no code changes, simple drag and drop, and a creation of a service. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the multi-cloud demonstration that is only offered with Cloud Foundry.